It is very easy to teach a five-week-old piglet to play football or swim along a lane in a swimming pool within a matter of two days. If you give it a name, it will remember it in a day or two at most and will respond to it because they love communication with human beings. If you speak to them, they will answer you by coming up and sniffing your body with their snouts. I was born and raised in an agricultural region. I always lived with farm animals and saw how they grow since I was a kid. So it was natural for me that I became a farmer. I probably inherited this from my parents because there were beekeepers in my family and we always took care of animals. When I served in the army, I was a dog handler in the border service and a service dog instructor. I took it as a challenge. I was interested in getting engaged in something new, so I delved into the process and started learning it. Today it's natural for me. About 10 years ago I decided to rebuild an old, dilapidated pig farm and fit it out with modern pig farming equipment. Было завезено 400 hybrid breed sows were imported. Today there are roughly 4,500 pigs on the farm. Our breed is from the Dutch hyperbreed. We chose these pigs because they gain the maximum weight very quickly and have a short fattening period. We get a quality commercial valuable pig in a short period of five and a half months. They are different. Some are kinder and friendlier, while others are quite the opposite. They were bred specifically to remove aggressiveness. In the process of selection, peaceful animals are selected so that there is no fight for food or water. We are now going to show you the insemination process from which the whole farm begins. This is called the identification of sow readiness. We identify sow readiness with a boar. Upon visual contact, they stop moving and special operators mark them for artificial insemination. We can use diluted seed of one boar to inseminate up to 20 pigs per week. One boar is enough for 100 sows, and we have four boars for 400 sows. This breed is also distinguished by its good health. In addition, it is fertile, they produce enough milk, they are good parents and take good care of the piglets. Like any human mother, a sow is also a mother. Now we will show you little piglets that are in the sow. These are the little piglets. We are in the farrowing box. Sows are placed in special machines that let us carry out any manipulations with them, and they also reduce the injuries in piglets. Також зменшується травматизм самих поросят. 
We have 16 cells in a box and farrowing takes about two days. 12 to 18 piglets are born at once. The term of pregnancy in cells is 114 days. This piglet was born just an hour ago. After birth, it needs to receive colostrum from its mother and stay in warmth. The temperature in the box is 25 degrees. Piglets are born in a very high temperature and weigh from 300 gram to 1.2 kilogram. After birth, piglets immediately can see and have a second reflex. Each has its own spot, a nipple from which only one particular piglet eats. They don't let other piglets near. The fact is a matter of nature. The largest piglets go right away to suck the nipples of the mother that contains the most amount of milk. On the 21st day after birth, we vaccinate the piglets against mycoplasma and circulatory virus. According to our technology, we grow a piglet to 110 kg in five months, and then they can be sold. This is optimal weight of a piglet that people are ready to buy. Pig meat is considered the most sought-after red meat in the world. It is considered the leanest when compared with beef and lamb. Pig meat is rich in zinc. It is also very rich in tryptophan, which helps produce serotonin, which is why people are happy and sleep well when they eat pig meat. People also say that they can't fall asleep without eating a tasty and nutritional piece of meat. When infants are fed with meat for the first time, pork is better because it does not contain lactose, unlike veal, which people give to their children thinking it is better. A large sandwich in the morning is a good start. It is healthy fat for the liver, for bile secretion, for the stomach and for the skin. There are some myths about pork being harmful, but it all depends on how it is prepared. If you boil, bake or stew it without using the aggressive effects of high temperatures, then the rich protein in pork does not change its formula, meaning that it will not contain any cancerogens. The period of growing a piglet from 1 kg to 115 kg is 26 to 28 weeks, during which they consume 340 kg of feed. On average, one kilogram of weight takes three kilograms of feed. Piglets start eating coarse food on day five, and four weeks later they will eat 150 grams, and ten weeks after that they will eat up to 500 grams. We only use grain from our fields as feed for the piglets, so we know what technology we should use to grow it. And we also know on what land it should be grown and what fertilizer should be used. So we're confident in the quality of the finished product.
The diet should be given special attention, especially so diet, as the health of piglets depends on them. It must be balanced for a certain age of the piglet. Each age group has its own specific diet. We have optimal conditions for the upkeep of pigs, the ability to control the microclimate and slatted floors, which save space because we can place one pig on 0.8 square meters. Slatted floors are primarily for better hygiene. On regular floors, one pig is placed on 1.5 square meters. So in this way, the area of their enclosures is cut in half. I would like to build my process and plant and produce finished goods. Today we have plans to expand the pig farm. We have 400 sows so far, but I would prefer to have at least 600. This is fairly long money, as entrepreneurs say, because it will take a year and a half before we see profits, and we'll have to invest in maintaining the animals over this period without seeing any returns. It will take at least three years to fully recoup the costs of reconstruction of the complex and the initial maintenance of the animals. Last year there was a state program for the reimbursement of interest on loans that we took out from a bank for the development of animal husbandry. Last year the Ukrainian state budget allocated 1.276 billion hryvnias for partial reimbursement of the cost of building livestock farms built at the expense of agricultural enterprises and almost 67 million to compensate the value of facilities built with bank loans. 16 pig farms that produce over 20,000 pigs have used the state support. In the current year, 3.5 billion hryvnias were allocated for the support of animal husbandry in Ukraine. Worldwide production and consumption of pork is about 112 million tons. In other words, pork is the number one meat product in the world. The growth of pig breeding in Ukraine is up to 1.5%. Today, a gradual increase in livestock is noticeable in the industrial segment. As of the middle of last year, the number of farms with a population of over 5,000 pigs has exceeded 37% and continues to grow. We don't just sell pork in our oblast. People that live in the Poltava and Zhitomir oblasts also buy our products. The quality of our pork is not worse than that of European pork. We have good feed, good living conditions and modern equipment, so the quality of our product is quite high. To grow a full-value pig for sale in the shortest possible time, you've got to pay a lot of attention to genetic material. Living conditions come second, while vaccination and quality feed are much more important factors in this business. Ukraine is my homeland, and this is what matters the most. I won't be original if I say that my land is the place where I was born. Secondly, it's a place with the most beautiful sunsets and sunrises, where thunderstorms don't make you sad. In fact, a warm rain cheers you up and the people here greet you with a smile, even if they are strangers to you. But you are not a stranger to them. This is exactly the beauty of my land and my people.